Hello and welcome to my first modding tutorial. I'm going to be trying to show you how to use the Dandev sound import tool to mod audio in EA's Battlefront 2. Uh, so first things first, you're going to need the sound import tool, which I will link in the description. It's this right here. Uh, you also need Audacity. Audacity will help you edit audio. It's very useful. Uh, if you already have your, your voice clips and your sound, then uh, you don't really need this part, but I'm going to show you anyway a few tricks that I know of this site, soundsresource.com. Uh, you can find a lot of voice clips from video games. So for example, if you need an Ahsoka Tano voice mod, you can search it on this. And as you can see, she's in Disney Infinity 3.0. And uh, you can download like 300 or so voice lines from here. Same thing with this website, spritedatabase.net. You can also search for Ahsoka. And you see here they have Disney Infinity and they have Clone Wars lightsaber duels. So uh, multiple sources, these are very helpful in getting voice lines. Uh, another useful tip uh, is uh, Tamper Monkey, which is how I got the voice lines for uh, the mod I'm going to be making in this tutorial. Uh, you, de you use this script on Google Chrome to download directly from Disney Plus. So uh, when you download directly from Disney Plus, most uh, like of the Star Wars shows that I've seen, Clone Wars, Rebels, and Mandalorian, all are split up into these five uh, categories. Now the first one is just music, the second one is dialogue and sound effects, and these two are like background noises or uh, music as well. So you don't need those, you just need this one, and you can kind of tell. Alright, bad example. But, you know, there's a little bit of music in here, but it can be easily cut out uh, with uh, some noise suppression, no noise reduction. So, very useful. That's how I ended up cutting out a lot of the voice lines for the Mop Gideon mod audio overall I'm going to be making in this tutorial. So, uh, next step is organizing your files. And so, this is the template I use. If you look in uh, the sound import tool for Frosty, and you go to the character you want to replace. I'm going to replace some Dooku's lines. As you can see, they have lines for when they have an ability, for when they have an incoming hero. They have interaction lines. They have their emotes. And then various battle scenarios here. An intro line when they spawn in. And then the voiceover emotes are separate as well. Uh, so that is what this is. I highly recommend you stay organized when audio modding because I feel like it's the most crucial step and the most crucial detail that people might overlook into why and you know it might be why they don't exactly stick with audio modding or why they hate it so much stay organized i have a i have my a folder uh, for all my audio mods and i try to keep it somewhere well organized uh, from off gideon i've already uh, organized a lot of these things uh, what i've done is i put it in, into these folders and i've deleted the ones that i didn't really have good lines for um, so, for example, Exertions, I hound one line of him getting hit, so I'm going to have to mix in some silent options for this. So what I can do is I can copy my silence, and just kind of paste it, and rename it into a bunch of different things, uh, so that I can import it all. But anyway, let's get into the importing. So, uh, for Dooku, let's go ahead and start with the emotes, because those are fun, right? A few things with modding these uh, voice lines for non-base game heroes. So for like heroes that were added uh, after the game and originally released, you're gonna have these stream pools on the right side, and you want to clear these. Otherwise, there's going to be some like muting, like the voice lines are just gonna stop working. So you want to clear them in any lines you're going to change. So I'm gonna change this emote here, which Dooku's is. I've been looking forward to this. Okay, so I've been looking forward to this. That emote might work well with which of these emotes I've selected for Gideon. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, in a few moments it will be mine. So let's try to import that. It works. Uh, we can go ahead and save a brand new project. Uh, so if we go to Gideon, I'll call it Moff Gideon Audio Overhaul. Boom. Uh, second emote clear the stream pool. The Sith control everything. 
I said control everything. Uh, let's see. In a few moments it will be mine. That's the one I already did, right? Hmm. Let's go with you have something I want here. What about the third one? I've become more powerful than any Jedi. Okay, so let's go with a friendly piece of advice. Assume that I know everything. And the last one? Brave, but foolish. Brave, but foolish. And the only one left is I'd prefer to avoid any further violence. So let's go ahead and save that. We can close all that out and reopen it, because that's the only way we're going to be able to hear it. So let's go ahead and hear it quick. In a few moments, it will be mine. Very nice, very Gideon. A friendly piece of advice. Assume that I know everything. Beautiful. A friendly. Oop, okay. And stream pools are gone, so that's good. Uh, Dooku's fifth emote is unused in the game, this I think. This is just the beginning. Yeah, that's not in the game, so... Just in case, sometimes I'll mute it with audio and then remove the string pool and do that. And if you're curious on how you can create that silence for yourself, uh, you can do that pretty easily on Audacity. You just go to Generate, Silence, one second, OK, and then export it. And there you go, get it, Silence. Um, that's what I'll probably do for all these interaction lines, uh, because I didn't really get enough lines to do interactions with Anakin or Grievous or Obi-Wan. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty simple. I'll show you one more thing. Uh, if you want to, say, import multiple no battle lines. So if I import no battle, I have five lines of Forgideon that I want to import. And if I open that, they all import. You have to, you just have to select them all at once. I'm going to keep doing this until I hit a common bu uh, bug that usually happens with modding audio in which one of them won't import. It happens to me all the time, and I'm sure I can get it to happen once more. Okay, well, if the one-time audio modding is easy, it is in your tutorial where I'm trying to showcase how to fix a stupid bug. There we go. Surely. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep going. That's the intense battle enemy. How about intense battle with the friendly? Okay, well, that worked too. What the heck? A slow battle with an enemy? Do I have any of those? No. So I have intro and incoming blasters. So slow battle with an enemy, I'm going to import silence over. Because you don't want him to speak at, or sound like Dooku there. Import silence. Clear the stream pools. And the intro. Intro. Got these two things, and of course those import. Anyway, uh, if you come across an error where one of them doesn't import, what you're going to do is you're going to open that file in uh, Audacity separately, okay? So you're going to drag that in, and all you have to do is clip a little bit off the end and the beginning and re-export, okay? Uh, and, uh, and then re-import it all. Uh, a few things to note, if it starts to lag, open Task Manager and uh, end the task because and then just reopen it make sure to save by the way <laughs> save your project constantly because this thing is buggy as hell uh, anyway what else do we need to do for this let's see we have a few lines for incoming blasters he says drop the blaster can you say that when he sees Finn sure boom and there's one for when he sees I think young Han because young Han is who Mandalorian replaces the decommissioned bounty hunter Din Djarin. I want him to say that when he sees Han. There we go. And yeah, that was very painless. The most pain painless audio mod I've ever wanted to do. Anyway, one other thing. Your exertion sounds when you get hit or when you die are right here in sound characters, shared hero efforts, and then it would list those. So when he gets hit and when he dies, when he dies, I want him to make this sound and I'm gonna clear the stream pools I think base game heroes always have stream pools on these these hit lines hurt lines there you go <laughs> so we'll say that when he dies and when he gets hit we'll import a bunch of those eventually music is right below that so music character or sound care music bleh, sound music hero Dooku intro outro 
the intro short is not used in the game, I'm fairly certain, so no reason to replace that. And that's basically it for Audien, uh, modding audio. Uh, it's a little bit different for like troopers and stuff. Uh, so if you want to organize that, once again, you just find the categories, make folders for them, and then drag and drop your voice lines that you want to change into those. It's fairly simple. Uh, just keep your uh, eyes out for that, that importing bug. Uh, and then you just clip off a little off the end or a little beginning. Remember to always remove stream pools. And uh, one more thing, uh, before I import anything, I will always go into, I will always let go and get all of my lines and move them all into Audacity. And before I do anything, I'm going to export multiple right into that folder, right? Because batch exporting for some reason, makes everything a lot easier. I don't remember where I pulled this out of. Was it Intense Enemy? Yeah. So Intense Enemy, select folder, export, boom. Yep. And then that overrides everything and it makes it a lot less common. So <laughs> I'd already set this all up so I didn't hit, any, hit that bug in this tutorial, but if you hit it, do those, do those things. It should work. Hopefully you watched this whole video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Hopefully I have managed to help you learn how to make an audio mod. So thank you for watching. I've been Zinger, and I will maybe make another tutorial someday.